concert Stuart building so this is our shared accommodation so you have a long line of corridors which contain your rooms and the toilets and showers are dotted down the corridors uh, you also have kitchens dotted down the corridors which you share with six other people um, it's ideal if you have lectures in Constance Stewart building as they are at the other side of the building So if it's raining you can roll straight out of bed and walk down the corridor to your lectures So this is Constance Stewart Hall So in Constance Stewart Hall you have your room with a sink in here and then you share a shower, a toilet and a kitchen. So as you can see, you've got a full double sized bed with storage underneath. The storage is in two different sections and it goes all the way to the other side of the bed. So it's perfect for any suitcases or boxes that you may be keeping here whilst you're at uni. Over here, you've got your wardrobe, which at one side has got shelves and at the other side has got a rail. So as you can see, this is your communal area, which is great if you want to have friends around. Um, you can have games night, either play board games, card games, or connect any gaming device to the TV. And then you've got a fridge freezer here, and then through here is the kitchen, where you've got another fridge freezer, as well as allocated cupboard space and drawer space. So you get enough storage between everyone. So this is Wickham Hall. This is your ensuite accommodation. You are in a flat of six, so you just share a kitchen. Um, it's like a small complex, so there's seven blocks, and your laundry is opposite the accommodation, so it's only a 30 second walk away. So this is Wickham Halls. So as you can see here, you've got a bed, which is just sort of a double bed and underneath it's got storage so which is ideal for any suitcases or boxes that you might bring with you and you've got a chair in the corner in front of the window and then you've got your desk here which is ideal for studying with storage drawers in there as well as well as two shelves on top and then we've got the wardrobe space which has got lots of storage plenty if you have a lot of clothes and um, we've got plenty of wardrobe space in there as well as shelves and cupboards on top and drawers down here and then through here you've got your ensuite so you've got your toilet your sink and your shower in your room which is ideal because you don't have to worry about waking people up if you want to have a shower if you're busy late at night or early in the morning if you've got placement so in Wickham Halls you live with five other um, students so they may be on the same course as you and they may be not um, it's a great way to meet new students and make new friends, especially while you're at university. Is these could be the people that you may be living with for the next three years. It's an amazing experience. It helps to build like your social life in a way. If you're coming from far away and you don't know anyone, um, it offers that opportunity as well just to get out and about, see other people's interests, and even try out new things whilst on campus. So you can have a few friends over, you've obviously got the TV, so you can connect either a Playstation or Xbox if that's what you have, or a Wii, have a good game night, you've obviously got the table so you can sit around and have game night, a few drinks maybe, it, you are also close together so it's like a community, so you do get to know people in other flats as well, so I know sometimes you can mix between the flats and get to know other people, have games nights, 
and all different types of things in this area. So as you can see on the cupboard it is all room allocated so you get a fair amount of cupboard space between all six of you in the flat. There is also two fridge freezers so you do have plenty of space for any food 